Hey, good morning from Small Boat Restoration. We're here in the boat yard. A little uh, wipe down of the Penobscot 17 before the cold and the rain hits here in Florida. It'll, it might actually get down to freezing. So I'm gonna make sure there wasn't any standing water in the bills. So we had a little rain the other day before we got a good cover on it. So the little water gave us a chance to wipe it down, clean it out, took the floorboards out. Here's the uh, forward uh, bow storage area. Make the uh, sails above there when we, or the uh, oars, I'm sorry, when we're ready to go. Took the floorboards out. In the middle, worked up in these uh, bulkhead compartments. Wiped them down, pulled the drain plugs, see if we get any leaks through our new tarp. Uh, just go right out the bottom. There's little holes there by the uh, stringers are called limber holes. That's so the water doesn't get trapped in these compartments. It can drain up to a low spot and we can take it out there. We got about two gallons out of the entire boat with our uh, wet back. And then we went and vacuumed up some sand that was left over and um, wiped it down with this new shop towel donated from Old Talon House. I like doing what I call nautical archaeology, finding solutions that other people come up with for different problems. This is a nice little quart milk jug that cut the bottom off. It can be used as a baler to scoop water out. Pretty good. Fits in a small space versus the bigger uh, gallon bottles you see. And then found that a sponge nestles in there uh, nicely when not in use. With those two things, you can get most of the water out of the boat when you're underway. And it's probably a manageable amount as far as the weight of water that you're scooping at one time. But here she is. This is uh, Penobscot 17 Hannah. Getting her a little cleaned up. We're going to cover back up, let the rain come through. And we'll, uh, Get back on our load dryer a little more. 